Hi, Doug Stewin with IT Creations with another epic server review. Today we have the One U HPE ProLiant DL325 Gen 10 server, sporting a single AMD Epic 7000 series processor and support for up to two terabytes of memory. With the impressive core count and memory support, HPE recommends this system for virtualization and software-defined storage. They're promoting this platform as a low-cost alternative to a dual Intel Xeon scalable processor-enabled platform, and there is definitely an argument for that. Let's take a look. Intel Xeon scalable processors are still the king of this category, and it's good to be king. However, AMD's Epic 7000 series processors deliver 8, 16, 24, or an impressive 32 cores per processor. That'd be four more cores than top-of-the-line Intel Xeon scalable Platinum 8180 processors. Not only that, but the 7000 series all support a maximum of two terabytes of memory with eight memory channels and 128 PCI lanes. Intel Xeon scalable processors in general support two less memory channels, only 48 PCI lanes, and only 768 gigabytes of memory. That is, unless you go with the M suffix processors, which will give you 1.5 terabytes per processor. But even with those M processors, we're still off by a full 500 gigabytes, and they're like two to four times as much. Without getting too in depth on this processor comparison thing, because really, Epics are favored over some workloads, while Xeons might have an advantage in other applications, let's move on. The AMD EPIC processor installed on this system is the AMD EPIC 7251. It sells for a little over 500 bucks. It has 800 cores, 32 megabytes of L3 cache, eight DDR4 memory lanes, and a thermal point of 120 watts. This is the bottom basement EPIC processor and only supports memory speeds of 2400 mega transfers per second, but it will support two terabytes of memory. Plus at 120 watts, that's like sipping power through a straw compared to the potential power draw from dual Intel scalable Xeons just to support the memory this AMD EPIC processor offers. Of course, the architecture is different between AMD and Intel, with Intel definitely considered the more reliable of the two based on market share and actual usage. That said, this is AMD's first new processor in eight years and have only been available for a little while. In general, everybody has been quite impressed with the EPIC performance, which is not to say there aren't a few out there who still see it differently. Thinking about purchasing one of these? For a limited time, you can save up to $250 off IT Creation's list price on a system valued at $2,500 or more. Click this link to see pricing on the HP DL325 Gen 10, and when you're ready to make a purchase, just mention this video. And now let's look at the memory configurations. Right next to the CPU sockets are two banks of eight memory module slots for 16 memory module slots total. Outfitted with 128 gigabyte load-reduced DIMM modules in all sockets, you'll reach two terabytes of memory. Registered memory modules in all 16 slots will support only one terabyte of memory. That'd be two memory modules per channel for both RDIMMs and LRDIMMs. Although with two DIMM modules installed per memory channel, memory speed drops to 2133 megatransfers per second. With a single memory module per channel, you get increased performance and memory speeds of up to 2666 megatransfers per second, just not as much as memory. HPE's silicone root of trust promises security protection, not only from the factory, but across the life cycle of the system. Helping you manage the system is HPE's reliable integrated Lights Out Management Module 5.0 with intelligent provisioning. Lights Out helps administrators manage the system both at the chassis and remotely with a one gigabit dedicated management port, both front and back. Graphics on the system are integrated and provide 32 megabytes of flash memory for ILO. HP ILO Advanced Premium Security Edition features runtime firmware verification, which checks the firmware every 24 hours and will roll back to the last known good version or to a factory settings if the firmware has been compromised. The system is also compatible with HPE OneView, offering infrastructure automation, and will support several generations of HPE and third-party servers, storage, and networking. Storage options include SAS, SATA, and NVMe, with options for 2.5-inch and 3.5-inch storage devices. Our system has four bays up front to support four 3.5-inch SAS or SATA storage devices at up to 12 gigabits per second. Other configurations include eight 2.5 and 10 2.5-inch drives, with the optional media bay populated with drives instead of a slimline optical device. You can install up to 10 NVMe drives, assuming you have the NVMe backplane, and no additional cards are required as the board supports five dual port PCI connectors. That would be eight in the standard drive bays and two more in the optional control panel area. The 3.5 inch drive chassis we have here only requires five single rotor fans. Seven dual rotor performance fans are required when 10 NVMe drives are installed. The motherboard features native support for both SATA and NVMe devices with the Smart Array S100i. It can support up to 14 drives plus software RAID. If you want 12 gigabit per second access and additional RAID capabilities, then you will need a PCI Smart Array HD RAID controller. This particular platform features HPE's Smart Array E208i SR Gen 10 controller and operates in mixed mode combining RAID and HBA functions simultaneously. 
It offers 12 gigabit per second access for SAS and SATA drives and is a great low cost option for addressing internal storage and software defined storage applications. An HPE 331i Ethernet adapter is built into the system and has four 1 gigabit Ethernet ports. Other options include a PCIe network adapter card or an optional flexible LAN on motherboard in a dedicated slot. The flexible LOM has options supporting 1 gigabit Ethernet to 25 gigabit Ethernet in dual and four port options. PCI cards will add even more ports and support connection speeds of up to 100 gigabits per second with one or two ports, but that will take up some of your limited PCI slots, of which there are only three. The primary riser supports two PCI 3.0 slots, one by 16 and one by eight. An optional secondary riser provides another PCI 3.0 by 16 slot, but cannot be used with the modular smart array controller option like on this system. That said, you can go with one of the essential RAID controllers or one of the performance RAID controllers. For hypervisor support, you can use the integrated micro SD card slot or use the secure internal USB 3.0 port. Lastly, you could also use a half height, half length PCIe card supporting two read intensive SATA M.2 storage devices that can be used in mirror mode for a fail safe boot device. AMD is definitely giving Intel a run for their money with their new Epic 7000 series processors. Although many organizations are still skeptical about the performance and reliability of these processors, initial reactions from actual users have been very favorable. I mean, come on, these processors literally, and I believe I am using that word correctly, cost a quarter of what Intel is asking for their Xeons. Plus, AMD Epic support more cores, more PCI lanes, and more memory. This system is also compatible with the rest of your Intel-based infrastructure. IT Creations carries this server and many others and can custom configure to your specifications. We hope you enjoyed our short hardware review of the HPE ProLiant DL325 Gen 10 server, and if you want one, give us a call. If you have any questions, post them in the comments section below. Like, subscribe, and comment. I'm Doug Stuman with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.